Hello guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov and today I will show you how we can create beautiful image inspired by Game of Thrones. I have opened my image, I took you this ago uh, at Virginia Beach, it was a very beautiful sunrise and I took this image using my iPhone. Also I will be using image I downloaded and licensed from Adobe Stock. So I have opened my image and I will be using this image as my background image. Now I would like to uh, bring uh, image I downloaded in license from Adobe Stock to bring your uh, image to um, your document simply click on your image um, you would like to use in your uh, library and drag into your document now I would like to resize it just like that and click OK right click and I will uh, rasterize my uh, layer and now I would like to um, isolate my main subject out of its background. To remove my background, I will be using a magic eraser tool, eraser, eraser tool. simply click on a background you would like to remove and a voila. If you missed any part uh, of your background you would like to remove, simply uh, zoom in your image and voila. Now let me uh, see if I missed any other parts of a background sure I did and I will zoom in a more just like that let's see if I missed anything else uh, I think I missed here and yes here let me zoom in a more just like that Voila, very easy, very fast, oh, a step backward, and very fast, just like that. And voila. If you prefer to use any other selection uh, uh, tool, feel free uh, to use it. So now I will switch to my uh, move tool and I will move... Uh, up my dragon slightly up and slightly to the right so now i created a movement um, um kind of a movement illusion so like my uh dragon is flying and trying to land uh what i would like to do right now i would like to add fry fr uh, flame to my dragon i will zoom in on my image and i will create new empty layer why I'm creating a new empty layer because I would like to create a, a flame um, uh, as a separate layer in this way I will be able to move and adjust uh, my flame layer at any time now I will um, use a pen tool and I will create a pass pass of my flame just like that and I will go filter render and flame here you have all necessary tools to um, uh, create and uh, manipulate your flame you can um, uh, adjust weight you can adjust the width angle interval you can um, switch to advance and you can uh, adjust opacity and um, many other parameters also you can uh, change flame type you can uh, use any um, preset you want to i will click ok and now what i would like to do i would like to delete this path so uh, so i will simply click on delete and voila and because i created my um, flame as a separate layer i can um, move and apply any modifications to my um, dragon dragon's flame so i will use a free transfer tool i will rotate slightly rotate my flame just like that more perfect click ok now i will apply a layer mask to my flame and i will switch to gradient tool with opacity 100 percent i will uh, erase part of my flame why i'm erasing part of my flame just because i would like to create um natural looking flame flame is moving flame has different play different opacity different um uh movement so i would like to create a more natural looking fl uh, flame 
just like that and now i will bring opacity of my uh, gradient to down about 25 26 and i will continue uh, erasing um, part of my flame just like that see now we have more natural looking flame perfect now i will zoom out my image just like that and now i would like to um merge my flame and dragon layers together so i will click merge down uh, what i would like to do right now i would like to apply a shadow create a shadow of my a dragon kind of a reflection of my dragon i will duplicate my dragon layer and i will highlight um, a layer um, of my first dragon layer just like that and using free transform tool i will um, flip and rotate my uh, dragon just like that rotate slightly more and click ok now i would like to apply a blur effect to my um dragon's uh, shadow reflection i will apply a motion blur just like that click ok and i will bring down opacity of a uh, uh, dragon's shadow just like that now i would like to apply kind of um darker effect to my shadow my dragon shadow i will click on adjustments and i will click on uh, levels because i would like to apply an um, adjustment only to my uh, dragon i will click on um apply a um, clipping mask and in this case my um adjustment will be applied only to the layer below adjustment layer and i will move a black a white slider all the way to the uh, left and voila if i think uh, my i would like to make my um shadow more smoother i will click on a shadow layer and i will bring down opacity just like that voila now i will uh, merge all layers no, before that, I would like to um, modify, make my dragon more natural looking, just because uh, my dragon's uh, right side directly next to sunrise and left side this side more, more in a shadow. So what I would like to do, I will click on my um, dragon layer, I will highlight my top layer, and I will click on um, exposure adjustment. And again, because I would like to apply adjustments only to the layer below, I will click on um, Add um, Clipping Mask. And I will bring down Exposure, just like that. Just like that, not more. And voila. Just like that. Uh, but I would like to make my uh, Dragon's Flame um, more... Uh, fiery and as i said before i applied adjustment as a separate layer so i can modify this adjustment i will click on adjustment um layer mask and i will switch to gradient tool opacity 100 percent i will paint out my adjustment layer neck from uh dragon's flame and keep in mind that um it's a flame comes out of dragon's uh, mouth so uh, dragon's face uh, parts which close to the flame supposed to be more um, highlighted and i will bring down opacity of my gradient to uh, down about 24 and i will paint out a part of dragon's face which is close to the flame just like that perfect i like it and now I will merge all visible layers and I will launch my camera raw filter. Here I will um, bring down exposure just like that. Um, I will increase contrast. I will bring down highlights. I will uh, bring down also shadows and I will increase white. And now I will switch to a 
a tone curve and I will bring a highlight slider to the right, lights uh, to the left and probably I will move a dark slider slightly to the right just like that. What I can do right now, I will switch to my um, effects. I will um, move the haze um, slider to the right. Perfect. I like it. And I will move a vignetting uh, amount slider slightly to the right, just like that, and click OK. Now, uh, I like my image, but I would like to highlight part of my uh, dragon to make it more interesting, to make it more fiery, because it's, uh, it's dragon, it's all about the fire. Now, I will switch to uh, Dutch tool and exposure about probably 18 and arrange highlights. I will paint over a dragon's um, highlighted part, so I'm, I'm making part of a dragon skin a more fiery just like that it's it's all about the fire it's a dragon just like that and voila so guys just in few minutes we created an uh, image inspired um, by Game of Thrones show and I used my image uh, I took uh, using my iPhone 7 Plus uh, and I use this image as my background image. Also I used uh, image, dragon image I downloaded and licensed from Adobe Stock and I used a flame filter. Um, so guys, thank you and I will see you later. Bye!